Tempting to Temptic. I'm kicking off my Dress Temper series of videos today with part one of me making my own dresses. So I'm going to make three different dresses for myself, mostly by myself. Uh, the first one is like a straight DIY dress. I have a maxi skirt that doesn't fit me very great anymore, but when pulled up over my chest, it's kind of cute as a dress. And then with that one, I have some like leftover bright red fabric and some leftover Star Wars fabric from my grad dress. Because yes, I had a Star Wars themed grad dress. So I'm completely YOLOing this one. No pattern, no real ideas, all hand stitching, just me going at it with some fabric. This is probably the lowest stakes one, but I'm still very excited about it. Dress number two will be a knit dress. Uh, maybe you saw my video where I followed a Wool in the Gang uh, knitting kit and I made my own t-shirt. I absolutely love that process. And so I went back to the Wool in the Gang website and I found a free pattern for a dress. So there are two free dress patterns and I'm gonna go shopping today and try to find wool for my first choice. And if I can't, or if it's just too expensive, I'll find wool for my second choice or yarn, I guess. I don't really know what it's called, I'm new to this. And then I'm going to knit myself a dress based on that pattern. The third dress that I'm making, and potentially fourth, fifth, and sixth dress, depending on how things go, is actually going to be based off of my favorite t-shirt dress. So you may recall from my Old Navy clothes haul that I got this amazing t-shirt dress. I absolutely love it. It is super comfy. I would wear it all the time. Uh, and so I want more of them. So for that one, step one was actually texting my mom and asking if she could help me make a dress because I don't have a sewing machine. And that one's going to turn out a lot better if I have a sewing machine to make it with. She said yes, I'm super excited to make a dress with her. And now I'm researching fabrics, which is uh, a bit of a budgeting struggle. I, <laughs> I picked my six favorite fabrics, three from two different sellers, just so I can play like the shipping odds. It's near the end of November now, and I'm going to visit my mom in about a month. So I need to have my fabric either here or at her place by then so that we can get everything ready and I can make some dresses with her. But I narrowed it down to six. I sent pictures of them to a whole bunch of people, did like a ranked voting system, and then picked my top four from there. And now I'm just trying to figure out how much fabric I need of each of them, if I really need four, because the budget's a little iffy on buying all four of them. So we'll just see how that goes. Hopefully it'll get here in time, and hopefully I will have some nice fabrics I can make a dress with. <laughs> One trip to the store later, and I have my yarn. Good old Renat Premium. Uh, I have six of these in nice lovely gray. I hope it's thick enough for the pattern. And this yarn means that I will be using my second choice pattern from Wool and the Gang. I was originally looking for mohair yarn, but that stuff is expensive, hard to find, and I'm pretty sure it's super itchy anyway. So I got this stuff, I have it in a nice gray. And after buying this, I have my budget a little bit more in check. So I'm gonna go order the fabric for the other one. It's about a week later now. I've been working on my knit dress and my hands are already sore. I'm feeling that like repetitive strain injury coming on. So I'm doing my best to avoid that and take my time. But that dress is going to take me a very long time to knit. I am estimating at least 150 hours for that one. So hopefully I'll get a little bit faster and I'll be able to finish it in time for dress number. Otherwise, fingers crossed, I'll hit my fundraising goal and I'll have until the end of January to finish it. I'll be wearing dresses for one extra week for every $1,000 that I raise. So don't forget to donate to see that happen. And aside from that, I ordered my fabric. It came out to a pretty reasonable price, I would say. I ended up getting uh, two fabrics from Fabricville and then one from a place called Funky Monkey. They're both arriving this week, uh, so you'll see those in the next video. I'll open them up and see how they feel. And I made some like design sketches and just played around a little bit with the fabric for the totally YOLO dress. I'll probably do that next weekend when I'm done with all of my projects and everything. And I don't know, hopefully it won't be too hard <laughs> on the knitting with just doing um, 
pure hand stitching on that one. So make sure to check back next week for some more updates on my dress number dress process. And if you like this process, if you want to see more of it, if you want to help me reach my fundraising goals, make sure to head to the link in the bio and make a donation. Anything that you can donate helps me reach my goal, I promise. I know there are a few suggested donation points, but if you can't afford to spend that much, that is a-okay, do what you can. And if you're in a tight spot right now and you can't donate anything, that is also perfectly fine. If you still wanna help out though, please just share that link with a couple friends and ask them to do the same thing. And then hopefully we can get the word around and I can reach my $4,000 goal. All right, thanks for watching. Agasipita.